Keeping your apps up to date is good practice for a number of reasons. First, there may be bugs that cause crashing or freezing. There could be security issues that have been updated. Usually, the best reason is that new features have been added or improved on. So, keeping up to date is a good thing and very easy to do. All our Android devices have the Google Play Store installed. On many devices you can find it from the home screen, on the icon that looks like the shopping bag, or from the apps list as shown here. When you first open the Play Store, you will be asked to log in with an existing Google account, or if you do not have one, you can create one. Simply enter your email address, click on next and then enter your password. Once logged in, you will need to agree to Google's Terms of Service and then if you want the data from the device to be backed up. It is up to you what you choose here. Neither will affect the operation of the device. After a few moments, you will be greeted by the Google Play Store home screen. Google often changes the design, so don't worry if it looks slightly different. First, we will update all of the apps on the device. To do this, click on the three horizontal lines to bring up the menu and choose My Apps and Games. It will then check which apps have available updates. This may take a few moments to complete. Click on the Update All button to start updating the apps. Depending on how many apps and the size of the updates, this process may take a short while to complete. The Play Store may automatically close during this process. This is nothing to worry about and just means that the actual Play Store app has also been updated. You can load it again or, if you wish to, continue using your device as it will continue to update in the background. You can change for apps to auto update or not in the future through the Play Store settings. Apps may automatically update from now on, although if they require new permissions, you may be notified there's an update available and you will need to confirm that you wish to update. If you want to explore the Play Store, you can browse from the home page for popular apps or search for it using the search bar. In this example, I am searching for the BBC iPlayer app. Simply type in what you are looking for and it will bring up a list of results. Once you have found an app, you can scroll the page for details about it and click on install to download and install it. Once installed, you can open the app from here or from the apps list. We hope that you have found this guide on using the Google Play Store useful. You can find many more guides on our how to section links in the description below.